The scariest event in Sodor's history started off like any other. Gordon the Big Engine was leaving Tidmouth Sheds and heading to Knapford Station to pull the regular express. When he got to Knapford, Percy was just finishing up putting his coaches into position. Gordon backed up, buffered onto the express, and waited for the conductor to blow his whistle. Once all the passengers were on board, the conductor blew his whistle and Gordon set off. Things went well at first, and the train was running smoothly. The passengers were singing his praises, and Gordon was his usual proud self. However, once they passed the first station, Gordon started speeding up. At first, the driver thought he was trying to beat his record again. Steady boy, he said, there's plenty of time. But there was no answer. Gordon just kept speeding along faster and faster. The driver then became concerned. Okay, Gordon, we get your point. Please slow down. Still no response. Gordon just kept going. The passengers began to get uneasy and panic. Gordon, what the hell are you doing? The driver shouted. Still nothing. The driver and fireman fought for control, desperately trying their best to stop Gordon, but it was no use. By this point, Gordon was going well over 100 miles per hour, but the worst was about to come. There was a sharp bend on the track ahead, and if an engine raced on it too quickly, it could get derailed. Knowing there was nothing they could do, the driver and fireman jumped out of Gordon before the bend derailed him, and he came off the rails while taking the frightened passengers with him. I'm sad to say that all the passengers died that day, and the driver and fireman were raced to the hospital in critical condition from the impact of the jump. The fireman was pronounced dead in the hospital from internal injuries, and the driver fell into a coma for about a year before finally waking up. As for Gordon, he was badly damaged and taken to the works to be mended. He was also banned from pulling the express until they figured out what caused the accident. To this day, no one knows how or why it happened. Some say that Gordon was indeed being careless and trying to beat his record again. Others say that his brakes failed, and some even say that he was possessed by some kind of demon. Whatever the cause, everyone can agree that this was a tragic day indeed. However, the trouble was only beginning. After Gordon was repaired, he was sent to pull a goods train to Bridlington. But when he was shunting the trucks, it happened again. Out of nowhere, Gordon started biffing the trucks really hard, either sending them off the rails or smashing them into pieces. It didn't stop there. He then started rampaging across the shunting yard, destroying trucks and buildings in his wake. Then he proceeded to Knapford Station where he biffed one of the express coaches that Henry was taking for the express. The coach came off the rails and crashed into the left side of the station, causing it to collapse. Then he did the same thing to the right side with another coach. Henry was just puffing into the station to collect his coaches when he saw the mess Gordon had made. He was confused and didn't know why Gordon was rampaging. Without thinking, Henry quickly raced towards his friend to try and stop him. He managed to derail the big blue engine before Gordon snapped out of his trance. He woke up to a terrified Henry and began to look around. Henry, what the hell happened? Gordon asked. You were rampaging around Knapford, Henry replied. Why the hell would you do such a thing? I don't remember doing any of this, Gordon said in shock. I'll get you back on the rails, Gordon, said Henry, before puffing away to get the breakdown train. Once Gordon was back on the rails, he thanked Henry for the help before racing away. Gordon, wait, where are you going? Henry shouted, but Gordon was already gone. By the time Sir Topham had arrived, he was shocked when Henry told him what happened. Meanwhile, Gordon was on the border between Sodor and the mainland at Vickerstown, he was leaving Sodor for good because he didn't want to hurt anyone.